These are the charts of the day, and it's Thursday, so we're doing a swing trade review. A lot of them have done very well. Let's take a look at the long list. It is still long. Uh, there's quite a few in here, and uh, AAOI starts it alphabetically, as always. Uh, this stock had been spectacular since the low in August when it went down under seven and more than doubled recently, as recently as um, Tuesday, trading up to se almost 17. It's backed off a couple of points, but it looks to me like it may not be done. And the target now is 21.22. APLD broke out and another nice extension today, reached near my first target, which is eight and a half. I think 8.52 was tagged, so right on there. Next target, 11. Strong chart. APPS has been about three weeks consolidating after coming down near the breakout point. <clears throat> that held. What I need now is a price volume surge over 310. Today's pop took it from 266 to 305 finishing 301. So let's see if it pops back out again. Then I'd be looking for a move back towards four and three quarters. ASTS was spectacular when we first gave it to you, breaking out in July and around the 14, 15 range, and made it all the way up to 39, but it went in the nearly a triple. And the last six, seven, six weeks or so has been in a downward drift. This, one, this one's got to take back out above 32, 32 and a quarter with volume. And be careful right here, it's on support. And below the 50, it may fall apart. On the short side, BPMC came down from the bear flag and then dropped. It's forming another wedge in here. I'm not sure, uh, but I will still cover this one over 96.7 zone. Downside target, 80.73.4. BYRN popped out. We put a swing on it and then extended from about the 14 range up towards 18. Actual high today was 19.24, right at my target zone. And I'm looking for an extension. Take this one into the mid 20s. CLPT in a wave four, one, two, three, four flag at support. I'd like to see this double top hold on the pullback after breaking out through it. And if we're going to get a fifth wave up, you can see this target might be mid uh, high, high teens, more like 17, 18. CRMD recent swing broke out, we put, and we put it out there at about uh, six and three quarters, seven range. It's now 8.43 at the height, and they closing above. Key resistance. Looking for an extension that tags 10. Secondary target 12. ERJ, spectacular surge in the last few months. You can see from October, about a year now, it's gone from 12 under 13 to over 37. Um, it's still looking good for 41.2, maybe 47.8. FCX popped a couple days ago. We put out, and when it went through the 50 day and and it's subsequently has moved from 44 to 52. There is some resistance at 55, but I'm looking for 63.4. GENI popped out yesterday. We put a swing on it and backed right off. I need a follow through. It takes out the 865 area. Then you're looking for 10 and 11. INOD coming out of a falling wedge. We put a buy on it. It's edging higher. But I need a price volume surge over 1610 to get it going. Targets are then going to be 19 and 22. LASC, spectacular swing, popped out, broke out, pulled back, held support, exploded, got to my target, and backed off. I'm not sure if it's done yet. It might be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but I will hold out for additional run up into the high 20s. LITE, V bottom or the right hand extension, we put it out. I think it was on August 15th, right about here. Actually, on the breakout day, around 54, I think it was, 64 today, 64.80, my target 75. Lumen, a spectacular explosive move, took it from under one to over almost eight, eight fold increase, and then a coil. Since then, it's been edging slowly up. What we've got to do is take out the spike high at 783, <clears throat> then you're looking for 10. Lunar, um, pop broke out from the coil, broke out again, and now it's pulled back. I like this wedge for a move that gets us to 12. MP broke out, put a swing on it. I like the look. Long downtrend, maybe breaking out. Extension targets in 19 and 21. NME broke out of his downtrend. They put a swing on it and backed off and coiled. I'm, I'm looking for a move. 
it might be eight to ten points. No kidding. That would make it about eighteen to twenty. New veil, an availment broke out of a nine month consolidation with a breakaway gap and now beautiful bull falling wedge. My targets are one fifteen and one twenty five. O N O N. Broke out, we put a swing on it, it kept going, it's now moving higher. <clears throat> Provided the market cooperates, so I'm looking for 58 and 65. In, in Piedmont Lithium PLL popped it two days ago and backed off. Today, had a reversal engulfing bar. Wait till this one takes out 950 and then look for 11, 12 zone. Qualcomm on the short side, but looking a little bit too strong for me. Uh, there's a clean line here that would say to me over 177 or so I'm covering. On the downside, targeting 155. Rocket Lab broke out, flagged, and popped. Got to my targets, looking very strong here. Breaking out of a multi-year base. I would not be shocked to see 11 on this next move. Roku coming out of a base, stair-stepping its way higher. It's a 1, 2, 3, 4. Looking for a fifth wave to fill the gap and get it up to 85.6. Marijuana, or cannabis stock, True Leave, broke the downtrend from the rising flag, popped out, and now it's sitting here for two days. I like to look. 14. 16 tech targets. Weatherford on the short side really worked you know, this week when the one, two, three, fourth wave flag met resistance and rolled over. Ro ro running from 97 to today's low at 83, 14 points in two days. May not be done at the downside next target, mid 70s. And finally, WGS been spectacular all year. They've been on my swing trade list for several months now, but more importantly, the recent breakout. And the pullback and then pop today tells me this is going higher. Once we get to 43, 30, 50, and 60 are targets. And let's look at the stocks that are still active at the techtrader.com on your swing trade list. For now, this is HP out. Have a great evening and good night, tech traders.